And Marcus, uh, Tom Kensler at Denver Post. Uh, how do you feel like you're a different quarterback uh, today than you were in uh, you know previous years or maybe even early this season? Um, you know, I've I've grown a lot um, through this offense. I've grown a lot um, as a person. Um, you know, with with Coach Frost and Coach Harvest, I've really worked on footwork and um, being able to throw in good body positions and. Um, you know, always kind of finding ways to get better, um, you know, understanding coverages, defenses, and, um, you know, little little intricate details that, you know, really allowed me to kind of excel in this offense. Joseph? Hey, Marcus, I know you're friends with Judah. Um, how nice is it to uh, play against former high school teammates, and uh, have you had a chance to talk to him before? Yeah, um, you know, it's always fun. You know, and I think for our high school, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. And, um, you know, it'll be fun again to go out on the field. This will be the third year now. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. I'm sure I'll get a text from him soon. Um, you know, I'm understanding that, you know, they're in the middle of uh, a lot of different things. I think he's got midterms and stuff this week. But, you know, they, they're all so busy. But, you know, I'm sure I'll hear from him. Ryan Thorberg. Marcus, what is, has the senior class meant to you? And what do you think your emotions will be on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I've I made a lot of a lot of close friends in this senior class. Uh, a lot of guys that you know I really look look up to, and um, you know it's going to be one of those times that you know it'll be it'll be bittersweet, obviously. Um, but at the same time, it's one of those experiences that you, know, you come back to school for and and, and to enjoy. And um, you know to see those guys um, kind of go off as you know one of the most successful classes in in Oregon history will be pretty cool. In the back, Mike. Marcus, um, we were talking with Horonis earlier today. He's he's been in pretty good spirits, uh, rolling around on his cart. A couple of us were saying he needs to add a little bell or 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 uh, streamers or something to it. What do you what do you you know say to him when you see a guy like Horonis who's never really been injured in this way before and he's rolling around? Do you joke with him? What do you do? Yeah, you, you know it, it's got you got to find ways to keep him up in good spirits and. Um, you know, he's been awesome. He's going to continue to get healthy. Um, you know, he's going to take it one day at a time and, and find ways to get to get better. Um, but at the same time, you know, he, he's still out there. I mean, he's still Hironis. He's going to find ways to, to kind of hear get people to hear his voice and, and find ways for people to, you know, be able to listen to him. And, um, you know, we're very fortunate to have that. And, um, you know, Hironis is one of those guys that we really look up to. Right here, Tyson in the front. I asked Mark if... Uh if swapping out centers is a little bit different for you just because that's the one guy who's directly giving you the ball. Um, he said it might be a little bit more different if you were taking snaps under center. Um, what, what's kind of the, the, what do you notice from kind of switching guys out? Cause I know you probably, you've worked with her a lot over the years. Yeah. Um, you know, it just, you know, little things like the speed of the ball coming back, but it's nothing, you know, too crazy. Um, you know, it's stuff that, same fundamental stuff. You got to catch the snap just like you always have, and and um, you know for the most part it, it's it's going to be smooth, and you know we'll be fine. Far side, Jason Quick. Marcus, have you been able to decide yet if it's been worth it to come back this season, and if so, how do you know? Oh, it's been worth you know every second of it. Um, you know it's been an awesome awesome deal for me. Um, you know it's it's. One of those things that you know you you know a lot of people take for granted, but you really can't uh, understand it until you really do it. And um, you know, for me, it's been been such an awesome experience, such an awesome journey, and you know, I'm thankful for it. Tom, do you have a question at all for Marcus? Yeah, Marcus, uh, how do you block out all the Heisman chatter? Because you might even hear that from the person sitting next to you in a class or something. Um, just continue just to you know go about my business um you know people always kind of talk about it um but for the most part just kind of focus on what i have to do and and uh find ways to get better for this team and you know not worry about what other people think one second any more questions in the back warren williamson two questions two questions marcus it's senior day and have you allowed yourself to think about um, possibly this being your last game playing in front of the home fans? And, and if so, what does that mean to you and just overall it, your experience here at Oregon? Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's tough to kind of think about those things um, because it, it can become a distraction. 
Um, but for the most part, I understand that you just enjoy it. Enjoy it with these seniors. You know, a lot of these guys that you're going to be leaving as seniors, you know, some of the closest friends that I've made here. And, um, you know, it's going to be an awesome experience. You know, Austin's always fun to play in. And, um, you know, no matter what, we'll enjoy it. And then I asked Coach Helfrich this. ESPN did this great feature about coaches dancing in the locker room after wins. Have you seen Coach Helfrich dance? And what's his, what's his dance moves like? Uh, if you guys keep pressuring him, hopefully he'll do it. Um, you know, we'll see. I, I don't know if I'm, how much rhythm he's got from Coos Bay. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see it hopefully one day. <laughs> Tom, do you have anything else? Don't tell him I said no, that. I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay.